Evening everyone, how are we doing tonight? Welcome along Kane, Josh and Nathan. Hope we're all well. So we're doing something a little different tonight. I found a map to take a look at here. It's in one of the discords I'm in. It's an old German discord but um, I can use Google Translate and find things out. It looks fairly decent. It's not finished. As you'll see when we get on there. But it doesn't look half bad from what I've seen of it so far. And going from the start screen, I think we can presume it's seasons compatible. At least I'd like to think it is going from the screen. And we're starting at the shop on here. So I have been on here and bought the Mahindra. Then put a little bit of money in here to help us out. So straight away we can uh, get a bit of a feel for what we're looking at here. Hopefully. I've not turned seasons on yet. I thought we'd have a look around without seasons on to start with. Evening Milton, how are we doing? So once we've had a look around we can always try it with seasons see what happens. Give me two minutes guys, I'll be right back. I'm good thanks Milton. Right so let's take a look around this and see what we've got. So it's not using my grass textures I've got so it's got its own textures. Um, not too sure whether they're mine or whether it's got its own ones on here. I've not had a look in the map files yet to see what's what. So we'll just turn off auto start on there. So I haven't done that yet. And traffic off. Evening Chris, how are we doing? So we're going to have a little ride around on here. Just see what we've got. It's a definite small machinery map. Only two ways about that. I think we can say that things aren't quite finished yet, but uh, we have a BGA down here, it's a good start. Hey Nathaniel, you see Case? Where do you see Case? feeling this has got all the uh, forgotten fruit textures on there. I'm pretty sure that's the maze out of that pack. As you're aware I don't use that pack anymore. So a bit of a building site going on down this way. I've not driven around this map at all yet. Hey rabbit man. Yeah one I found in a uh, Discord. But I have got a link for it off the web as well. From what I've read, it seems it's something to do with Austro modding. Just interest to try and find your way around. Ah, yeah, case was up there. I've actually got a field of oilseed radish down here, which is quite an uncommon starter on the map. I 
something I've noticed from the map when I was looking at there are a lot of animal fens on there. So we've got solid clamps down here, low ones. Up here, I has to guess. Interesting textures on all the feed bars there. A small little pen in here. So this is version 0.9. Give us a little idea what we're looking at here. Seems it's the Austro modding team, what I can read in the Discord. Just got the standard crops on here, there's nothing new. It's a very, very hilly map. Sell point here. Cable cars there. If only they worked. That would be fun. A good bit of fun with cable cars on the map. So you aren't going to want to get on here with your S700 combines, your big New Holland combines. It's going to be the TX and that sort of size, and most of the John Deere T560s I should think. So I will put seasons on here once we've had a look around, just to see what it looks like. More animal pens up to our left there. Ah, did it, Nathan? I didn't even play farm sim back then, there wasn't that time. I was back on the farm. It's okay, Josh, not a problem. So looking at this, pigs. Pig pen down here. Once I show you the map, you'll see just exactly how many animal pens there are on there. And I started with 17 on PC and 17 on console. Never played it before that. Just do something different. I can't remember the last time we done a live first look at a map, so I think we'll overdo one. <clears throat> Even if it's going to be quiet tonight, just makes a change. We might be above the cow yard here. Look to that yet, Rabbit Man. Yes, took a bit of work this afternoon, Chris. I'm aching in places I forgot I could ache in. After fighting with the Rotovator up there. We need to have a little diversion somewhere. Uh, that's Father Nathaniel. Don't like steel chainsaws. 
I've always had Husqvarna, I've currently got two Husqvarna chainsaws in real life. Yeah. That new rotavator I've got is a little bit of an animal. There's dirt track somewhere around here I think we saw. somewhere Let's see what we can find up here definitely different sort of grass texture under trees and some different trees on there as well by the looks of it hi Martin how are you doing I've taken a look at a couple of the mods what came out today but not all of them yet Very random with the trees, which is good. Now John Deere chainsaw probably wasn't John Deere. Poolan was going to be the one I mentioned, which could have been John Deere. Not one which is very common over here. So we found another road up here. Let's go this way. <laughs> I've just removed about 150 200 runner beans off there, Rabbit Man. I would say we want to be up there for the sheep. Let's see if we've got the issue how I found a little while ago. Yeah. There's no collisions on these fences on there just yet. Neither have I, Josh. So it's going to be a badge engineer job. I'm not surprised, Chris. So this would be a sheepyard by the looks of it. Hop off here a minute and have a little wander. Little ball shit there. Scarecrow. Looks a bit like SG that one. Hey Richie Billy, how are we doing? The sheep are over here. Again, no collision on that fence. Doesn't look too bad as how things are laid out on here. At least the war and the posts are going right for the um, terrain on here. We've not got any jumps or posts at funny angles. Let's climb further into the hills. Hi Thomas, how are we doing? Alright, you're not late if I'm still going. It's a long way up up here. So you can see just how the map is laid out now. See how much higher we can go without me driving into a tree in here. You know I'm going to do it sooner or later. I think I'd better go in vehicle for this one. I would say it's a rather dense woodland at the top here for those that like forestry. True. Don't think I dare ask Chris how things panned out today in the end. Looks like we've got another animal enclosure heading this way. There's an awful lot of grass fields on here, the higher up in the map we go. Something I haven't mentioned yet is we own everything in new farmer mode. So 
of slurry. I'll say we could have another cow yard here. Eh? That's not too bad then. So interesting two story shed. Yeah, I was going to say, it must be fairly vintage. Heap of grass in there. So that'd be a hail off by the looks of it. And the small cow shed beneath. Hey Chris, how are we doing? Looking at the pictures this map with seasons ready. So we'll have a look around the map, then I'll come out again and put seasons on. So we can take a look at it. I think it's gonna be the best thing to do. Couldn't really see any attraction to look around a new map with seasons turned on because it's look very bare. Can we start in spring? I'm good, thanks Chris. I suppose what we should do at this point in time is just uh, pop that up. So we can have a look at what's doing up there. So we've uh, sort of had a good climb up there. Let's go off roading a bit. Animal pens. Interesting little arrangement there. Yeah, just have a look at something different. Eleven seventy four. Let's see if we can find where the elder. Purchase point is for livestock. At least the building's got collisions on them. Hard to say, Rabbit Man, because the fields aren't numbered yet. This is still very much a um, work in progress. I've turned the zone markers on for this. I haven't Thomas but it is installed on this game give you a little clue what I might be planning let's right, see if we can find the zone markers Looks like we're the wrong side of the road to be buying livestock. Interesting. Definitely turn the markers on. triggers on here. One there, one at the feed trough. I 
one of that door there. Which I'm going to guess is milk. Yep. One there. Wondering where the boy point actually is for these cows. Yeah, they are nice tractor those ones. Okay, we'll have to try that again. Let's move on for now. Might be we can't actually buy them there, that we've got to buy them at the animal dealers. Up the fence, so I've got collisions on them. Let's go straight over. It's not like I can turn this over anywhere, or is it? So, that's an interesting bit of terrain for an animal pen. Very level there. Does that mean our livestock can graze on some extremely uneven ground up here? It's got a little workshop there. Haha! -ha. So we know these aren't seasons cows, but I'm going to just pop a couple in there just to see how they wander around is that cow earthing out down there? where's the other one? or should that be the other one? there it is I seem to be managing the train okay on there, sort of. It's levitating on one side. Minor detail. Low fat milk. <clears throat> They're not actually floating badly or anything on there. to the area where we started down here. We may do some more of the animal pens the easy way, the cheaty way. There are a lot of them on here as I'll just demonstrate in a moment. there we had a look at give you an idea the shape of the fields definitely aren't running off my XML files All small little fields, so definitely small equipment map compared to where we've been on Oakfield, which we know is a large equipment map normally, apart from when I'm doing it. To know if I went out, 
go here. Little tree trunks there. Cell point down here. It's quite an attractive map how it's laid out. Very well optimised given how many trees are on here. It's hanging around the 60 all the time. Come back up towards the shop here. Yeah, does love so for. That's what sort of drew me to this one when I found it. So many of the maps at the moment are large equipment maps, then this one suddenly popped up. So, waterfall there. Right, let's do a bit of a uh, cheaty animal finding, shall we? let you guys have a look at the map here so this is our map as we can see we are currently over here and we've been all around this sort of area so we'll just go and visit the horses up here some more interesting terrain yeah well I think so, 1174. What I'm going to do is we'll just finish having a quick look at stuff on here and I'll save it, come out and put seasons on. Just so we can see what it does. If it goes into meltdown and we have um, patchy trees, we know what's happened. Plenty of water to lose vultures in on here. Which can't be bad. Let's say at the moment. You own everything when you come in on New Farmer. Which is less than ideal, but I'm uh, sure that'll be sorted. Let's go up to that one. And get stuck in a building. Yes, it is. From that link there. So we're a long way up up here. Ooh, we've actually found a fence with a collision on it. And in case anyone was in any doubt as to what the name of the map is, there we go. Let's try and find this big lake up here. Oh, that one's got a collision on it as well. So we've definitely got a big lake up here. Do not let Gav and their vultures in this lake. Ooh, yeah, we can lose a vulture or two in this one. Where's SG when you want someone to annoy? Look how deep this is. At least FS gives the same swimming characteristics as what I have in real life. A lump of lead. Another little sheep yard up here. The storage shed. Let's follow the river down, shall we? No, oh, we're just a pond again. Lots of little ponds on here. What fall in that one? Hey, without how are we doing? So, storage. So it's work in progress. So I'm not expecting everything to be right on there. As long as it mostly works, we can forgive collisions not being on things yet. I'm good, thanks. Seems to have some more water down this way. 
Ooh, yeah, there it is. Got to be done, hasn't it? Oh yeah, this is a definite deep one to lose a vulture in. I can't remember the last time we actually looked at a map like this. <clears throat> one time I'd find several small maps looks decent enough not find any major glaring errors other than the uh, lack of collision on fences yet and various other bits and pieces nice tree leaning there Random woodland. So very small fields. So if you want to do the whole map with the armor track, you could. All right. So shall we save this and pop seasons on there now and see what happens? What do you reckon? And this field looks like it's actually manured interesting it's an interesting way to start a map let's go back of the cable cars here so Something I didn't show you is land prices, 11,960. So if you did want to sell everything to do various features on here, your land is not expensive. 148 bigger lumps, 370. But there's a lot of small fields at 10,000 pound plus. So 10,660, 11,960. 10580, 12820, working up to the big areas, 704. Everything there is grass. We've got the arable down in the lowlands and the grass up on the highlands. Plus, a few little crop fields right in the top corner there by the looks of it. Which come as a block, 90,000. So nothing's extortionately priced on there. Different is good without. So let's switch this out and put seasons on now. I will put those articulated John Deere's on here in a moment as well. I've got them installed in here. Here we go, seasons. I should come up with a warning in a few seconds. Interesting, Nathan. Oh, we've definitely got a difference on here. That's not the best way to go into an existing save with seasons. Once we haven't done anything on there, I'm not too worried. Can't see any uh, platelet type trees anyway. 
Nice small file size then. So I'm not seeing any big platelet type trees. And it fell off a cliff then. Let's walk through someone's back garden. So I would say it looks to be seasons compatible. Trees certainly are. The grass seems to be. It's down to the first growth stage. There's nothing leap without at me the big blocks on trees. Right. One of you guys will have to remind me how to do that. It's a long while since I dropped snow on the map. has a collision on it. There we go. So we have some snow on here. Where have we got a building? Snow mask on that building. Okay, thanks Nathan, I'll speak to you about that after the stream then. Definite snow mask on that one. Let's have a look at this one. Seems to be snow mask on there as well, so I would say this map is seasons ready. How about you guys? No snow in buildings yet. Can we get some more snow? Upwards and take a look. Definite snow mask down there. No, they won't, Josh, unfortunately. This 
drop down. So it certainly seems to be working okay. Everything that should have a snow mask seems to do. Hey SG, how are we doing? So the river isn't frozen. Where's the Mahindra? The roads are covered in snow. This could be fun with the Mahindra. I'm good, thanks. A little bit of road visible there. Now what could possibly go wrong with me driving this through the snow? Nothing that could go wrong at all for me driving this on snow. I need those uh, Polaris riser buggies. So the snow has definitely given us um, the sort of fun you could have with it in real life with something like this, shall we say. Probably wasn't the best thing to do. Tree. At least the tires go the right colour now for driving on snow. So snow mask under there. Seems to be masked up properly. So we have a small map here that you could play with seasons but just don't expect it to be perfect yet oh the brakes work there's the fun in that Yeah, these things are great fun. That's a very good speech, Milton. I do like that speech. map has a nice feel to it again. That barbed wire wouldn't have a nice feel to it if I drove through it in real life with one of these. I feel a bit scratchy. Everything seems to be fine. We've not found a single tree which looks a bit iffy. So we're back at the dodgy cow yard where I couldn't find the boy trigger. Not one to give up so easily though. Ha! We have it! So let's go with a few um, of these ones in here. Just want to see what they do up here. 
how they wander about. Oh, there's one. So we've got them wandering back to fours across the road here. All levitating across the road. It's quite a nice little feature. They go across there. Ooh, I think I'll get out of the way how that one just swung around. It's about the only time you see me run if I saw a cow do that in real life. Be a bit chilly around the old um, what's it? That one. That's a nice sort of feature how they do that. It'll be a bit cold on the old nostrils. Okay, we have a little cool stack error there. The bale fork which came onto Mod Hub today, the Flegel one does work with the Heston Bales. I've done a mod review which will be out tomorrow where I tested that. So there's a little tip off for you on that one. The one with the locking script does work on Hestons. snow so we can see what they're up to. I think that's pronounced Walken this map. Milton will be telling me off for it if I pronounce it wrong anyway in a little while. So that bale fork boss on there today did works with wheel loaders, telehandlers and tractor loaders. You can get one with locking where you actually drive into the bale, press X and it locks the bales on. Or you get the normal one, where you just act a normal drive into them. Just seems to be a really nice little map. So if anyone does want it, there's a link there to it. That is the genuine download link as well. It's not a very spurious site. Part of their modding team on that website, so use that link and you'll be using the genuine one. It's not off um, any other mod site. I've not seen it on any other mod site to be fair. Just found it on the Discord servers I'm in. So I said we'd take a look at another mod while I was on here, so I think it's only fair I do that. one is it in? Not that one. Is it in this one? It is. So, that, ooh, that's very shiny. Very, very, very shiny. Hmm. Okay, we'll lease one with lizard tars. And we'll lease one with the uh, trelly bulgs. Yeah, this is. I got this off Forbidden Mods, so I want to have a look at it. I'm going from comments in uh, chat. I'm not the only one who wants to have a look at it. A few more tar options would have been nice. No, I haven't. I don't tend to unless I want to. 
have no reason to at the moment. Interesting parking. It needs some of the shininess taken off it. They've used the wrong textures on there. All the tires have got the wrong textures on there. Needs the metalness taken off this. Well, that's a bit basic. I use forbidden mods a lot. I'm not using mod hub. I won't use the orange site. Yeah, that needs all the metal that's taken off that. It's a bit uh, too shiny. I wouldn't use this personally, but uh, it's up to the individual. It's got nice sounds. It's just um, been textured wrong. G E. This needs retexturing again, which wouldn't probably not a big job in G E to sort this metal shining this out. I've done it for the hedge cutter. Let's get something to just hang on the back of and see what it does shall we how many horsepower is that thing hundred and eighty okay gives us a bit of scope with the cultivator Yeah, I might do without, we'll see how we get on. This looks very unfinished to me, how it's all done. I think I know what's going to happen when we try and put that in the field. not even lifted off the ground so it's in the ground when it's off the ground yeah I'd agree with that one has potential but needs sorting out it's getting dirty way too fast as well way way too fast never seen mirror polished paintwork on one of these tractors either just let something off pimp my ride can't fault the sounds it's a bit quiet but I can't fault it the rest of it however yeah
needs work, I think is the um, best description for this thing. Has the potential to be a good mod, but needs work. It drives alright, steering functions, hitch functions, but it doesn't lift high enough. Yeah, but the paintwork needs sorting. Be able to do your hair in the morning, I suppose, the paintwork. SG be able to put his makeup in on looking in it. Yeah, there's no way this thing would do that speed. Not the age it is. Yeah, that's gonna hurt your wrists. Did his arms just twist? That's gonna hurt. That's really gonna hurt. That's 15 to 18, I would say, tops the age this thing is. Hey Kevin, how are we doing? Yeah, I'm afraid it is without. You're tiny. That would hurt your shoulders, your arms, and everything doing that. Turned into a ghost in there. Some medical treatment after having joints do that. Yeah, this is definitely one of them. Are we anywhere near that sort of a uh, 20 log figure tonight? So my personal opinion of these is I won't be downloading them, they need more work. Nothing is finished properly on them. 15's not bad for an hour. Tractor wouldn't use it. Map, completely different story. Map I'd have no problem doing something with. Okay, we vote. You got me interest now. Might not do it tonight though. You just need to uncheck one of the boxes. I gathered you were probably over in America somewhere when you said you were making lunch. So we're now 8pm over here. Ah! Hmm, decals by IRM team. <coughs> no, I didn't say that, did I? Actually, they're too clear for that. Close up. So, what's everyone else's thoughts on this map then? Well, I'll just return this tractor. Get these out of my sight. And yeah, there's a few of them around this way, Rabbit Man. There is still one round this way, actually.
Hi Andre, how are we doing? Yeah, really nice looking map. Let's hope they put it through to joints and see if we can get it onto console, or they can get it onto console. Be nice to have some more maps for these small fields again. You got fields this size. <coughs> we won't go into how that sign got there. <coughs> you got all the small tractors we could use, the small combines. Let's face it, this is a map that the boys and would work well on. Let's go for a run up in the hills and have a look in the woods. Oh, that'd be an electric fence. That would tickle a bit. Then you've got the woodland floors textured right. Clear stair up. Trying to get to the map boundary to find out what happens. I don't think we can get much higher up on the map. Just curious to see if you could fall off the back of the map. Because it looks to me like you can. There's no physical boundary up there at the moment. Yeah, there's no um, hard map boundary. It's got the water plane sticking through the back there. This makes me wonder if they're actually planning on um, doing a bit more to it. I'm not going to drop off there in case I fall off the back of the map. Let's face it, it won't be the first time I've fallen off a map doing a review on them. So you got an empty riverbed there. So I would say still very much a work in progress, but a playable work in progress. Yes, I am as well. That's one map I definitely want to do with Seasons, Andre. Looking forward to that coming onto there. Oh, better not do go too close to that, I'll get struck by lightning. Religious buildings. And we have had one burned down in Norfolk today. Some nice small little arable fields up here to go with that carry yard. You'd have to be brave to use a round baler on here without the anti-roll bale script. Yeah, I do really like that map, Andre. I think that map would be a very, very good um, MP map, how that's laid out. I need to record some more episodes on there. Haven't done one yet this week. Oh, we're off the map again. So there's quite a large area here that could be extended into still. So let's hope that's what their plan is. I found a floaty thingy. Yeah, let's hope so, Rabbit Man. So that's actually a massive area here that could be uh, pulled into the map still. Should they so wish? I think the problem is, Josh, and you'll agree, your country is so, so big it'd be hard to place where it could be whereas our country is uh, quite small in comparison so we've got a little barrier there to stop us going too far but one thing I'm liking not seeing on here is my old favourite painted boundaries
You never know what might happen. I had a feeling that map was Bavarian, but I wasn't sure on that. It certainly deserved to win the contest, as far as I'm concerned. Right from the first time I looked at it. I thought I deserved to win. Interesting looking building. From the back. Another cow shed. So it looks like we've got plenty of cow sheds where you can move yourself around on there. All these little fields where if you really want you could pull them into one big one. But I think that would spoil the map. A little uh, water outfall there. This is the animal dealers then. Somewhere we hadn't been yet. Lots of little badges there. To an animal dealers we can actually go into. Haven't yet found any workshop triggers. Other than at the shop. Might be able to place one on here. We've got collision on that fence. So there's a bit of a mixture of grasses on there, whereas this one is, looks to be a um, variation on the Ravenport style grass. And then it's got its own grass textures elsewhere. So at the edge of the map again. Perfectly normal to run along a vertical rock face. Another deep bit of water to lose your vultures in. Yards of where we are there. Shall get up into all these woods and see what they're like. Another pond up here. I think if I wanted to do anything on here, I'd wait until the map was finished if I was going to put on the channel. At the minute, I'm struggle to fit it in somewhere I think. This could be a nice little map to run with seasons for a series. With small fields. Obviously you have to sell off a massive chunk of land to do anything on there. Oh, we have another cow farm. Let's just have a look at this map and see just how many we've got on here. So, cows there, cows there, cows there, and there. Is that four? Cows down there, cows down there, cows down there. Sheep there, sheep there, pigs there, horses there. So looking like probably two sheep yards, one horse yard, one pig yard, but lots of um, cow yards on there.
plus all our land as well. All the cell points are concentrated down this end. So land handle says it's storage. Interesting. That's cell point. So three cell points to take everything. BGA takes barley, wheat, oats, canola. Potatoes, sugar beet as well. The silage, manure and slurry. Hey Ross, welcome along. Interesting Andre. So we've got soil of capacity storage for 250,000 of straw and hay. At least we've got prices of the BGA for silage on here. Good price. So not bad at all, really. Only problem comes when you're up um, at your sheep up here. You've got to trek all the way down here to sell your wool. Now, given that I don't speak any other languages, I'm going to say they're high lofts, would be my guess. So, storage up there for the cows at that cow yard. At that sheep yard, at that cow yard, at that cow yard, and that one for hay. So not a bad looking map at all, really. So again, I'll pop you another link into chat for it. So the barn cell points at the animal dealers, which you have to zoom in to see. All in all, not a bad map, I don't think. That one has got collisions on. That one has. That one hasn't. Don't try us home children, because it will hurt if you run through a barbed wire fence. Narrow road, so this isn't a map you'll try and get the ideal round. Well, you could try. There's Nathan, he usually likes to try to take big combines and impossible size maps. Let's see if our cows are still wandering backwards and forwards so got one down there in the middle there let's put a few more in there see if we can get them dotted about a bit more told you before bad puns on this map are my job not yours my job Follow it down and see what it does. Drop through the road there. Uh oh. Cow fight. So 
It's really interesting how they've got that all laid out like that. Nothing to see here, that cow is not walking on air. Definitely not walking on air. That one's definitely not lev levitating. So, they're not bad. There's a sheep, nearest sheep yard to here. Go and test that out. Wrong time of year for that one, Nathan. Don't make me bop you for doing festive things in August or September. It's too early for that sort of shenanigans. Ah, zone markers here. So that's obviously wool. Just need to find the sheep boy point. So zoom markers are floating slightly, but again, mind the detail. Buy point yet. Would you logically put a sheep buy point if it was not in the sheep field? A little bit of floating feed bin there. About there. No, that'd be diesel, that one. There we go. Yes, it is, Andre. We've put the snow on here. I think it might have been before you. Come in, I'll put the snow down on here to check. So we have sheep wandering about on there. Don't get too excited, Nathan. All seem to be okay. Wish animals would stop floating in this game. Well, I thought so, Nathan. Just for your 
benefit, um, Andre. So, all snowproof in there, and that shit. Little patches of the road aren't covered, but. Definitely season's ready. Don't run on snow like this, it won't end well in real life. So any buildings are any importance have got snow masks on them. No, not bad for a map which isn't quite finished yet. I'll give them that. We've had worse experience with one which is finished and has been tested by giants, mentioning their names. But we have had a lot of bales start to rot on there. Again, masked in there. A little bit of snow through the side, but mostly masked. BGA Phil Hopper is masked. Silage clamp is not. Down here. Well, I take your word for that. My feet have not left the UK. I got a passport for the first time last year and I still haven't used it. So got snow up on the rocks there. Building site is well. It looks like the buildings there have uh, been masked. There's no snow inside them. That garage has been. That lid is frozen solid on the washing line. So the reason I've obviously not shown you any start equipment, there's no start equipment on here at the moment. Okay, so the solidage clamps have not been masked and the manure pit hasn't been masked. But all the sheds have been, it seems. The feed trough or water trough hasn't been. That building has been. Workshop building hasn't been. There's a missed building down here. As I say, work in progress. That's the workshop after all. Animal dealers has been masked. So it all seems fairly good. So all in all, this isn't really a bad map. No, but this map is on version 0.9. So I don't think we can complain too much when they've actually got the hay barns and everything. Hay barns, cobra, cattle buildings all masked. So I've only found this by luck. 
at all. We'll have to see what happens with it. Hopefully they'll uh, sort it and that'll get released proper. Hopefully they'll put it into joints. So I think this is a map worthy of going on the mod hub from looking out tonight. I don't know about you guys. I'm sure they get plenty of downloads. If they sort these collisions out on fences as well. Compared to some of the early maps we've looked at on this channel, this is a lot better. But that is where I am going to be finishing for tonight on here. So I'll pop the link in once more for the map and also a link in for today's video on there. Once the uh, stream deck catches up. But I will be back tomorrow night doing something. And as I did say, I may be doing cattle and crops tomorrow night. It's highly likely, depending on what time I get back from Chelmsford. But for now, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this stream, and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.